Welcome back to the channel. I just stopped by my house here to pick up my GoPro and we're going to head out here and start delivering. So this video is actually not all about delivering. So today we're actually going to be installing this after we got off work. And this is a Rough Country steering brace for my truck. Just for the added comfort of knowing that my steering box is all, you know, reinforced and I don't have to worry about it wearing out soon. So when I get home, we're going to be installing that. Got to stop by the auto parts store to pick up a ball joint for my Chrysler. So I'll probably take you along on that. But for now, we're going to get out here and start delivering. So we just left our last stop, and as you can see, we did 96 out of 96 stops, 118 out of 118 boxes, and it is 202, so not too bad of a day. So, not too bad of a day, we're going to go ahead and head on back to the building, and I'll catch up with you there. second one back from my contractor all right so I made out of the building and as you can see right there in the back floor we have our rough country steering brace so we're about ready to head out and go pick up a ball joint for my Chrysler we'll see you in a little bit
just got the part and with my discount, it turned out to be $50.13 after tax. So here it is. So we got a Moog ball joint because Moog is one of the best. So might not install that today. Uh, probably wait till tomorrow or uh, sometime this weekend to install that. So as for now, we're probably gonna go ahead home and install the steering brace. So I'll catch up to you at the house. I made it to the house. I'm getting ready to pop open this steering brace and we're going to get to install it. So don't mind the uh, stuff in the background. T-shirt. Screens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight screens, eight t-shirt designs. And then I got all my ink stuff here that I have so far. Gonna be launching the website here soon, so stay tuned for that. I'll leave a uh, link down in the description as well as the uh, right here on the screen so you can uh, check it out. We don't have anything in stock yet, but get ready to work on that. And you see the, the designs actually on there right now that we're gonna be making. So the colors aren't exactly finalized, but that is a rough estimation of what they'll look like. So I'll, uh, I'll come back to you whenever we're doing on that. But for now, let's go ahead and do this uh, stream race. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna be using this, which is actually for a uh, plastic trim to get these staples out. So, a little trick if you don't have anything to really pull it out with and you have one of these, there you go. So the reason I bought this is, not, there's nothing wrong with my steering, but I bought this so I can prolong the life of my steering. Alright, so let's see what we got here. So that's probably a hardware box. Trash. And here is the main key to this whole thing. The brace itself. So once we get under the vehicle, I'll show you what it does exactly, but essentially this will tie into the bottom of the steering box or the pitman arm. So it'll uh, hold that from the bottom and the top. Give it some nice uh, strength and some stability. And your sway bars will actually bolt right here. So go ahead and open this box up right here. Look at our hardware. Look at that, instructions. That's always nice. So I will be reading those so I don't mess this up. There is the key that goes through this. There's that. Bearing plate. And all of our hardware. So we got some grade A bolts in there. Washers and some more bolts and a couple nylon locks. Maybe. Yep. Okay, so first up, we're gonna be removing the sway bar bolts that holds it to the frame and our pitman arm bolt, or sorry, nut. And then we're gonna go ahead and install our new one.
take that bottle to the garage. All right, so had a little help. Couldn't hold the uh, bar up and the bracket itself all together, so I had to have some help with that. But got it all in here. Get ready to tighten down these little two keepers on the uh, uh, brace itself. Sorry, but got all four bolts tightened down, so the brace isn't going anywhere. Got these nuts and bolts right here tightened down both sides still haven't greased it yet you're gonna tighten these last two keepers and then we'll test it out and see how it does all right so next step after we installed it we're gonna go ahead and fire it up and cycle the steering side to side for a minute and then we're gonna take for desk drive for a test drive okay so here we go and it says parking sensor off because I have the roll pan and I have the parking sensors disabled so I go ahead and back straight up here different but like I said I just wanted there for the extra security started as well as I had to have help holding it up there but got it installed I'll leave a link in the description below to the website as well as I'll put up here on the screen and go over there and check out the merchandise little shirts that I have up I haven't completed the designs yet but it's a rough rough uh, rough sketch I guess you could call it so the colors aren't exactly finalized but go over there and check out the designs I have and don't forget to subscribe because it helps me out tremendously and we'll see you next video. Ryan Little. <laughs>